And just like that, the tube is in, y'all. Look at all of this. First coat is actually looking pretty good. I gotta do the busting shot. What it is, what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. Y'all already know what's up. If you're not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know why? Because don't cost me nothing. Don't cost you nothing. Just tick that red button. Y'all already know what's up. Got my dog, 707 underscore Ryuk in the building right now. He helping me out with my last modification while I'm here in Jacksonville. Uh, boy, it's kind of a mod and some, some maintenance and... Uh, yeah, mod, mods and maintenance, that's 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 what it is today, mods and maintenance. So the mod that I'm doing, I've, as y'all see, the car is apart again. Um, lighting trends, man, lighting trends. <laughs> so one of my Bluetooth controllers ended up going out on me. Again, it was actually the same exact one that I changed out a couple months ago. If you've been following me on my channel for a while, I ended up changing out one for my Flow Series Halos and it went out again so i had to change out yet another one man light entrance i don't know what's going on man but nonetheless i ain't gonna front i regret doing these lights real talk if anybody is on the fence about doing lights on your chargers don't I'm telling you guys don't it's just unless you're okay with constantly spending money on repairs and warranty stuff and changing out bluetooth controllers and light bars and and halo rings and things of that nature just don't do it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, don't do it. Don't waste your money, man. But, um, but anyways, today I'm going to get these brake calipers finally painted. Y'all saw it on my video when I did my six piston brake swap. Um, I'm going to get these things uh, painted, man. I'm actually painting them white. So actually doing that today. He's cleaning them off for me right now. We actually already got the car completely apart on jacks. He's cleaning them off for me right now. Um, so as soon as these things get cleaned off, I got some uh, hot temp primer right here to where we don't have to do a whole lot of coats. Um, or we're actually gonna coat them pretty nicely to where it looks good. But um, we're trying to get that red and black in the back covered up as much as possible. And then um, we're gonna actually use the G2 caliper paint system. All right, so it is white. Um, they marked it up top right here. It is the white color. So we're gonna get these things painted up nicely. And then also one of the things that I've been meaning to do since I have the bumper off, I ordered the um, Hellcat tube for my box, man. So I actually ended up getting these two pieces right here. So for you, for those that don't know, the Daytona editions do come with the factory Mopar OEM box. Um, and for those that are saying, well, it's not gonna fit because the you have to get the Hellcat box because it has the, the attachment point for the tube. Very true. However, I have a small hole. I don't know if y'all can see it. I have a small hole right here where my hand is coming through. I have a opening right here, which the actual tube will sit in um, perfectly. So get this thing installed to actually make the front snorkels functional and maybe get a few degrees drop in uh, IATs. We'll actually test that later on my way home. Um, on average, my IATs are three to four degrees above ambient. So I'm not expecting a drop or a noticeable difference, but anything helps man so let's get this thing going all right so the pieces y'all need in order to do this uh swap obviously if you don't have an intake like this um you will need the actual hellcat box the full intake system all right in order to be able to fit the tube on there um what just the bottom part you don't need the top part well yeah but i don't think they just sell the bottom part i know yes, oh really yeah they sell it half and half so you gotta you got a bottom. I know you got the top cap and then, lid. yeah. But if you get the Hellcat lid, the tube is too long. It hits the throttle body. So you got to use the same 392 top part mm -hmm. and then just get the Hellcat bottom part because it has the hole in it and then that part and all the other. Got you. All right. Well, appreciate the correction. But anyways, since I have this 
intake already on there. All I needed was these two pieces that also comes with this little clip um, for uh, the actual tube. So in order to do that, you have to take this splash shield off in which this splash shield will mount in its place just like such. Um, it's a real simple install and then, um, well actually you put in the tube first. The tube will actually slide in just like this inside. Did I get that wrong? Actually, yeah, so sorry. The little piece on the bottom goes in like that and then the splash shield goes in front of that and then you put your clip in and that's it. So I'll do that right now and I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so I just pulled the splash shield off. It was actually really simple. Just to show you guys real quick. It was on there like such. It only had a top clip, a clip right here, and one right there that holds it on to this little uh, cooling duct right here. Um, so this bottom piece, I'm actually gonna keep this because eventually I'm probably gonna install this bottom piece again. Probably not, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm probably not even gonna use it because the new piece that it comes with, it slides in like such. Put it up top. You put this little clip in up here, up here. Obviously I haven't put the tube in yet, um, but the bottom piece doesn't come back. So um, actually, I think I am gonna install that bottom piece because I don't like how that looks right there. I want to protect that from the elements. So yeah, I'm gonna end up cutting that uh, piece off and probably zip tying it on there. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you guys, I have to take the headlight off um, in order to get the actual tube in because, where's my tube at? Oh, it's sitting right up there. You can't just slide this piece in there. You don't have any room. So in order to actually get this piece in there, you have to pull the headlight out a little bit to get clearance to actually feed this piece in there like such. And then this little clip right here mounts to this piece right there. All right, so I made my little line in order to cut this uh, piece up because the top portion is what, you can actually see the little cutout where the Hellcat tube would be, but uh, it actually covers this up. So actually it comes down to about right here. So I'm gonna cut this piece off right here to where I have room to like poke some holes and actually zip tie it um, to the old piece. So I made a line right there. So I'm gonna get some scissors um, or some cutters, cut this piece off and then tap some holes to be able to zip tie it together and actually still be able to use this bottom splash guard. All right, y'all, so I ran into an issue. So even though there's a hole right here, this tube, if you try to install it correctly, does not completely, uh, you stupid. <laughs> My dog won't kill a cat over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, as y'all can see, if I try to install it right, it goes down further. So I have to get a Dremel and open this thing up a little more. Probably like this right there for it to fit properly. So yeah, if you guys are doing this, um, it's not a direct fit, obviously. And I know there's some intakes that have a perfect attachment for it, but the one for Dodge does not fit perfectly, but we're gonna make it fit. So I had to Dremel this much out of it. So just a quick visual. This is where it was initially, right there. And essentially I had to Dremel this stuff out and uh, for it to actually fit in there now. So obviously it's not gonna click in on the inside, but it's, it rests on there just fine. So once this clip is in here it's, and the front splash shit is on, it's not going anywhere. And just like that, the tube is in y'all. Not the prettiest thing from the inside, but it's not something that you're gonna notice. Um, even from top looking in, I'll give you guys a shot once I put the light back in, but ended up getting the splash shield in as well and the bottom splash shield. So yeah, I got full protection. I don't have to worry about 
anything going in the areas that I don't want it to go. So anyways, I have a functional snorkel now. I'm gonna put the headlight back in. I now have a functional snorkel. I'll show you guys from the top. Not the prettiest thing, but gets the job done. But uh, he's over here priming my calipers right now. Primed up. Primer to dry and then we are ready for paint. Show you guys if it's your first time tuning in what they look like before. Obviously, the factory color that it came with was this on my car, and I ended up swapping to the six pistons on the front, which are red. Which the red is dope, but I want them white. Um, so big shout out to Garage Driven. Um, I want to actually. Let me turn this around. Yeah, like I just said, big shout out to Garage Driven because he was actually the first guy that I've personally seen do white calipers on his uh, vehicle back when he had his uh, wide body Daytona thing. But he actually did it before he did the wide body kit on his Daytona, but he had that destroyer gray Daytona and he ended up doing the white calipers. So he was the first person I actually seen do it and it looked dope. Even when I seen it in person, it looked dope. So that gave me the inspiration to do mine in white. I know there's plenty of other vehicles on Instagram right now and in the YouTube world that have done white calipers, but I want to send a big shout out to Garage Driven because he was the one that inspired me. All right, so we finally taped off everything on this side. And while we're waiting on it to finish drying, I went ahead and uh, had to get rid of some evidence, y'all. Look at all of this. I'm telling y'all, man, when y'all do these burnouts, <laughs> look at all this rubber, man. Jeez. I'm sure, I, I'm sure I just did a weight reduction on this, man. A little bit, but you should see how bad it is with drag rating. It's so hard to get off. I can imagine. Well, some of this was already on there from last time when I mounted the drags, okay. but majority of this came from this past weekend. Sheesh. All right, so the car is back together on the front end. The Hellcat tube, because uh, I didn't get the whole box done, is installed and this snorkel right here, you can't really see it, is now functional. Functional. But um, as y'all can see on the inside, you see it right there. I mean, like I said, it's not gonna look OEM, but it gets the job done. So, only thing that's left is these brakes. Um, we actually just got done um, taking a quick break. Uh, we ended up getting some food and stuff while we let the primer sit and dry. So primer's all dried up now and um, he's working on the first coat of um, this G2 system stuff. On my high it looks now, it actually self levels and uh, you won't notice the streaks and stuff, but that is only one coat. Just be mindful that is only one coat. Um, we're gonna do what, three? Yeah, three, we're gonna see how it looks after two, but more than likely we're gonna do three coats, at least three coats. Um, I did buy extra box of that stuff um, just in case we run out, because I wanna make sure the coverage looks good, because ultimately I will get them powder coated before y'all blow up my comments. Oh, you should get them powder coated because they'll look better and blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know. <laughs> But because this is my daily driver, I don't have the time right now to actually take it to a shop and have my car down for about a week to get them powder coated, coated um, like I want them to. So for now, this look will actually do, and it's actually gonna look good, but it will do until I actually have the time to get them powder coated correctly. Um, be mindful, I'm not going to put the Brembo stickers back on today because um, you actually want to make sure that the paint fully cures before you actually put the stickers on. So I'm gonna wait to put the stickers on another day. Hell, I might even wait till I get to Cali um, <clears throat> before I throw them on there. Um, because yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to take my wheels back off uh, so far and so on. So actually, I'm gonna have time probably tomorrow um, when I get my new tires mounted, my new rear tires mounted. So we'll see, we'll see. But nonetheless, the stickers are not going on there today. So I'll show you guys after we get done with this first code, how everything looks. So as y'all can hear in the backdrop, 
It is coming down. Down, down. Look at that. I that pretty cat right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we got the first coat on and we're working on the second coat right now. And the first coat is actually looking pretty good. Pretty good. So, and we actually started on the second coat on the back one. You could actually get away with leaving it on the second coat, but I think one more coat, the third coat, perfect. It's gonna be perfect. So this is literally the second coat. So there's some minor, minor imperfections in it right now, which is why I said the third coat is actually gonna do it. So. It's a time consuming process, man. Definitely time consuming process. Oh, and I actually meant to say, I actually fixed my Bluetooth controller as well. Ended up swapping that out for my Flow Series. So we'll see how long that one lasts before I have to change that one out. <laughs> it is officially done. We did three coats total. So I'm just gonna wait a good hour for it to dry. Like it came out good. Really good. Show you guys the back as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait for this stuff to dry for a good hour, and then I'm gonna peel the masking tape and everything, and um, yeah, put the um, the brake pads back in, and mount the wheels back on, man. That's gonna be it. Like I said, I'm not gonna put the stickers on right now. Um, I unfortunately cannot leave the car sitting for a good five to six hours or longer for it to actually fully cure before I put the stickers on. So I'm gonna have to do that another day. So right now I'm just gonna be brimbo-less. <laughs> no pun intended. So my dog ended up coming in because my boy uh, Stax had to leave. But uh, y'all already know, your boy One Killer Cat, AKA Red Key TV. So far, what you think, man? What you think of the white? Oh yeah, I'm loving it. Like, uh, it's, it's definitely gonna pop. People always wanted uh, wonder like, what they can do with their brake calibers. And anything you do to it, just gonna make it pop. That white definitely makes it pop. It's gonna stand out way more. So, I mean, I'm loving it. I can't wait till it's all the way done with the tires back on there. We can see the full effect. Yeah. You know, get that certified drip. Yeah, y'all already know. I don't know how much drippage I'm gonna give y'all today because it is raining outside, uh, as y'all saw earlier, and it's wet. But I'm gonna give y'all a couple of shots. But I don't know how much drippage is gonna be without the actual Brembo sticker on there, but I still think it's gonna hit. You know what I'm saying? Because to be honest with you guys, there are some cars on the market that have Brembo brakes that don't have any type of writing on there. All, all you see is just the caliper. So I'm gonna see how it looks without it. And I might just be different and not put stickers on it at all. Well, the car is finally done as y'all see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing out so y'all can see what it looks like on her brand new painting work. Y'all see. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. I'm using my uh, my dog one killer cat's phone right now, you know what I'm saying? But look at that. That pops. That pops. 
Let me know in the comments if I think y'all think I should put some over these uh, calipers, man. I actually like the fact that it's plain. I really do, to be honest with you guys. But let me know what y'all think. Man, look, we finally got done with this thing, as y'all just seen with the walk around. Y'all see the lights glistening in the backdrop, you know what I'm saying? Lightning trends. Ugh. I'm sorry I get frustrated, but I'm glad they back working, you know what I'm saying? It was a little halo rings, as y'all see right there, that the Bluetooth controller was not picking up. So, but big shout out to my dog, One Killer Cat, for letting me use his garage to get these calipers painted, man. I'm telling y'all, man, it just makes it pop, man. Look at that. Again, big shout out to Garage Driven for the inspiration, man. Like, I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of people out here that got white calipers, all right? So I don't want y'all to take it like I'm the one, oh, I'm the first one to do it. No, I'm definitely not the first one to do it, but I am gonna give credit where credit is due. And the first person that I saw do it and with it was my dog, Garage Driven. So again, big shout out to my dog, Garage Driven and the Free Smoke Squad. Y'all already know what it is. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, don't don't forget to follow me on Instagram and hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos so you don't miss. Well, actually, to show support to the channel. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I lost my train of thought just that quick. But again, big shout out to my dog, One Killer Cat. Make sure y'all tune in to his channel, Red Key TV. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.